Hey guys, it's Captain Ball Arms. I go 172 and 1 playing Ground War Domination on Meltdown. My class setup is the MP7 with Silencer and Fast Mag. My secondary is Attack 45. My lethal is C4, and my perks are Flag Jacket, Hardline, Scavenger, and Dexterity. Now, some things I wanted to talk about is sadly this isn't a 200 plus. Um, it really could have been. The only reason that it wasn't is because I overlapped my load star. Um, inside of a load star, so basically when you do that, you don't get that load star and it just disappears. And I really think they need to fix that because you can earn K9 unit and swarm in the load star, but not being able to earn load star inside of a load star just makes no sense, in my opinion. And at the end of the game, I was like one kill off a load star, and the game ends a minute early, I believe. So it really could have been in 200 plus. And it really sucks because it would have been nice to see a 200 plus with the MP7 for once, since it's not the PDW. But besides that, some tips on playing Meltdown and using a submachine gun is I like to rush the spawn and just stick around this building because it's very high traffic. And a lot of people like to go up to this building and camp. And if you kill someone out of there, they will automatically spawn and run back up because they w that's their only spot that they go to on the map and they just want to camp there. So you can get kill streaks just waiting for them or you can uh, flank around their spawn and kill them when they're running into the building and it's very effective now if you're taking the B flag I would highly recommend you lay behind this propane tank because it's the easiest way to take the flag um, you can make sure that it's blown up because there's a chance that an enemy could throw a C4 or something and it'll blow up and kill you or you can uh, at the start blow it up if the enemies are on it and get some kills off on the flag now I also wanted to talk about um, if you're going for these super high games you got to get your score streaks fast and you got to be able to get them consistently you see that most of my 150 pluses are like really good games I only die once and the fact is you have to play pretty much a perfect game and you can't screw up because if you screw up it's going to take time out of your game and if you die off your score streaks you're most likely not going to have that great of a game so you got to be very consistent in getting your score streaks, be able to get them fast, and you can't die one or two off of them. Now, I stick to this area because it's another high traffic area, and it's kind of a safe area for me when I'm like one off my score streaks, and I'm able to just basically wait uh, because I don't want to die when I'm one off, and I'm able to get my kills, but maybe since I went back here and waited for a while, maybe it was a bad thing. I don't know. You can't change what you did in the past. Um, this is an old game. I can't change. And some of you have already seen this because it was uploaded on Carnage and I just forgot to upload it on my channel. So if you've already seen this, I'm sorry about that. I will not be uploading the videos that I upload on Carnage like a couple days after it's on Carnage because you guys have already seen that but at the time I didn't have a commentary recorded for this and I didn't feel like it now I wanted to talk about improving at Call of Duty and a lot of people are just average players that want to get better at the game one KDs or under one and the biggest tip I can give you is play the game a lot all the free time that you have um, that you don't have to do anything important play Call of Duty and learn the spawns because the spawns are really going to help with improving. Now another thing is when you're trying to improve, it's not going to come overnight or anything like that. It takes a while. I remember my first couple Call of Duties I wasn't good. But after two Call of Duties I started to be able to hold a 2KD. And I just think it's uh, it takes time to learn. And you have to learn your own playstyle. Not like my play style won't work for you. Or it could, but it most likely won't. You gotta make your own play style that you feel comfortable playing, and that's how you're gonna be most effective. I've basically just worked on my play style, and I adjust it to each new Call of Duty because it tends to play different than the previous ones. And once you find the effective play style that fits you, then you're basically just all around a decent player, and you're able to do well. And you're going to be able to get these really high games. Now headsets and FPS freaks and scuff controllers, they help out, but they're not necessary. Um, a headset in this game isn't necessary since you can't really hear footsteps. And I really, I use FPS freaks all the time. 
Now, I cannot use them anymore because I'm used to them, and it feels weird playing without them on. So I always use the FPS Freaks, and I feel like they help out a lot. I just like how they raise your joystick, or, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure joystick, whatever you want to call it. And another thing is a scuff controller, basically. Uh, the trigger stops, and the grip, and as well as the paddles, they really help out. Um, I wouldn't recommend automatically buying a scuff or an Astro if you're not going to be in it for, um, if you're not going to use them. You definitely don't want to waste them, and I only recommend buying those if you're really going to use them and you aren't going to waste them or quit uh, playing Call of Duty or anything like that in the next month or if you only play it once a week or something like that. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but just playing, putting in the time, it'll reward you. You'll get better, you'll get a play style that you like, and you'll figure out what works best for you. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is, uh, I believe tomorrow and, uh, let's see, it's Saturday. I'll probably be uploading two videos tomorrow, and it's going to be from different channels that I'm doing post for post with. I think it's only two people, maybe it's three, but you'll see a couple videos from different people for the next day or, or maybe two. And the reason is, I want to grow my channel, and posts for posts are the biggest uh, way, in my opinion, to grow your channel. They're the most effective, and I gain a lot of subscribers from Carnage, and I can't thank them enough for letting me in and posting on their channel, but it really helps me out, and other channels that I can get my video posted on, it really helps me out, so I'm returning the favor and posting theirs online. So I will talk to you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed.